plan is to draw her out and then put the box over her and catch her. So we'll see how that goes. She'll normally come running out if you tease her a little bit. So see if she's in a good mood. tend to handle them because they don't really like it. And also it's dangerous for a spider this big. You can see how big her bottom is there. If you dropped her from a height, you know, even just a few feet, and she hit a hard surface like the ground, that could injure her. So it's best not to handle her on the hole. But as I've got her out anyway, I'm going to do it just this once. Now I'm going to do it sitting on the sofa so that there's nowhere for her to drop. But you should never do it standing up where you're holding them high above the ground. So here there's a nice soft sofa, so if she does drop, or let's say worst case scenario, if she bites me and I drop her, then she can just run around on the floor here, on the sofa here, quite safely, and we can scoop her back up again. So, here we go. I'm happy to admit that I'm quite nervous, because she's a very, very big spider. Let's do this. All I'm going to do is encourage her onto my hand. So it's her choice. She's a little bit nervous. She can sense that she's on an animal. So really she wants to go and find somewhere safe and dark to hold up. Here we go, she's reasonably calm. So she's currently about eight, eight and a half inches, leg span. People say they can get these up over 10 which is enormous. I can't imagine her being another two inches. I'm trying not to breathe on her. But um, yeah, what a beautiful, impressive animal. She's very calm. Normally, I've held her once before and she was just walking the whole time. Today she seemed happy just to sit there. Look at that beautiful animal. There we go. So anyone who's an arachnophobe, you can see they're not as scary as you might think. And some people might be wondering if this is dangerous. Now, all spiders are venomous, so she is a venomous. Her venom um, is what they state as non, not medically significant. As in, if she bit me, it would the venom would I would feel it, but it, it wouldn't cause me any damage. People say it's similar sort of level to a bee sting. Obviously, you'd get a much bigger dose, but it's very unlikely unless you had an allergy that it would um, harm you um, long term, other than some initial discomfort. 
Um, there's no, I don't think there's any recorded deaths of people being bitten by a tarantula and dying. So yeah, so but the, 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 the concern is that she has very big fangs. Her fangs are about an inch long, so if she bit me, just the mechanical damage of those would, would hurt. But yeah, she's very calm. I can feel she has little hooks on the bottom of her feet, and I can feel her little hooks gripping me. I'm going to see if I can put her back down into her box now. Let's see if she's willing to go down. There we go, what an impressive creature she is. See all these little hairs on her, she can feel every little movement around her. You've got to be careful when you hold them not to breathe on them because they can feel that wind and sometimes that can unsettle them and make them bolt. But she seems reasonably calm. I can encourage her back into her box now. There we go. She looks like she's going in. On her own accord. Woo! There we go. Handling our biggest tarantula. What a wonderful experience. See how she's flicking a little bit there, so she's a little bit nervous. I'm going to pop her lid on while she's in there. We'll put her back in there. Time to return this lady back home. fungus growing in her tank and also she keeps going up and chewing at the vents at the back so I've tried to block them off a little bit. She's been biting at this as well so um, I'm hoping that uh, she's in a friendly mood. As you can see she's a lot smaller than our, a lot smaller than the one I held just a second ago than the uh, salmon pink bird eater but nonetheless needs a bit of respect. This is a Mexican red kneed trench, a Brachypelma homore. Get one little one. And they're genuinely very friendly little fellows.
quite classic and well known of the trenches. Very, very beautiful. Quite docile. Like all trenches, she probably doesn't particularly like being handled, so we won't hold her for too long. As we got her out, nice to, nice to see her. I mean, look how calm she is. Whilst many people are scared of spiders, they're really not as scary as you might think. They're not all tranches are speed, uh, species you can hold. Some of the um, old world tranches are fairly more, fairly more, I don't know, bolty. I wouldn't say aggressive, but they can be a bit more defensive. This is a new world spider, which means it's um, basically from South, South America, that side of the continent. And they tend to be a bit more docile. They have a slightly different um, defense method of flicking hairs from their back if they're threatened, rather than biting and their venom tends to be less, less potent. Yeah, what a treat to hold such a wonderful animal.